Good morning. How to break bad habits and create new ones is what I want to talk about this morning. So over the next three to five minutes, just going to talk a bit about what we discussed yesterday in one of the Q&A's. So we're talking, it's week two of the comfort eating program that we're going for at the moment, which if you want more information about our food freedom program, just comment below with food freedom as we will be going over that. Morning, Jost. So how to break bad habits and create new ones. And this is something that we went over yesterday and I just want to give you a different perspective perhaps on this in that one of the key take homes was to act on how you want to feel rather than how you feel. Act on how you want to feel rather than how you feel. And we started talking about this in terms of evening snacking, comfort eating, um, little areas like that. And something that came up was there were some of the ladies who were kind of quite new on the program, some of the ladies who have been doing it for a while. And it's interesting because quite often when you've done something for a while and got results, you might have lost weight before, let me know if you have. And then we kind of lose motivation or we self-sabotage because we get to a morning jail, we get to a certain point where we're like, oh, I've lost it now. And that's because we've moved away from pain because the pain is often what gets us started. Pain or fear, pain of not being able to wear certain clothes, not being able to move as freely as I'd like, pain with joints, achiness, tiredness, whatever. That, like Things like that can often get us to to move and do something about it. But as soon as that goes away, you know, let's say we put our diabetes in remission, we lose some weight. When that pain goes away, there's potential for us to go back to the old, the old way of thinking, way of doing. Um, what research is kind of showing in that why this might happen is because we're often initially looking to get back to the, our old selves, so the old me, if you like, rather than focusing on creating a new me. And this sounds a bit woo woo -y. but if you were to just actually think about three months from now, in fact, let's go four months from now, it's the 27th of December, how do you want to look then? How do you want to feel then? What do you want to feel when you wake up? What do you want to be doing that day? And I say this because it's a real powerful question. We were talking about it with someone yesterday and they were like, I want to wake up bouncy with energy. I want to be wanting to exercise. And when you ask the question, why of why would you want to? Because I always feel better after. Then we're going on to back to that question of, am I acting based on how I want to feel or am I acting based on how I feel? Because how you feel is a reflection of habits that we're practicing day in, day out. The habits that we practice day, out, day in, day out make us feel a certain way. And if we keep acting on how we feel now, we'll just keep getting the same result. And these habits could actually come from past experiences which are actually flawed. And you've only got to look at when people give evidence in crimes, for example, they don't allow you to really give it over a certain length of time without kind of questioning its validity because we forget things. We misinterpret stories, we put pieces of the jigsaw together, we fill in gaps where it needs to be. And it's similar to what we do with our own stories. I'm too unfit, I've tried it before, that didn't work. And we assume that because we failed before, we'll fail again. But actually the people who succeed the most have actually failed the most times as well. So, I hope that helps this morning. A little one for you to write down today. Act on, act based on how you want to feel rather than how you feel. Have a lovely Friday and I'll see you soon. Take care.